just going back um, to that place we went um, last time, but we're going to a different place. Um, what's at that place? And Sunny might want to say something. So we had to be a little bit more creative to get our seclusion this time around. There's heaps of people over at the campsite, but we've found this nice little boundary here to just reverse down into to get a bit of our own peace and quiet. So I'm happy. I've spent quite a lot of time trying to pick this spot, whereas usually I rush it and you know, it's almost dark, so we're gonna be setting up in the dark, but I actually reckon this is totally worth it because it's gonna be an epic setup. Uh, just to give you a bit of a overview, uh, we've got the kids here. We've got the trailer there, and we've got the beach white sand there, which is where we're going to pitch the tent. And we've got the river right there. Have a little beach fire too, which will be pretty nice, I'm hoping. You guys want to show how you can go down the slope? Yeah. Go. Oh. Good work, Sunny and Indy. So you can see everyone's already having a lot of fun. I'll show you what it looks like from down here. So. What I'm thinking is this is a pretty unique spot, so maybe if we have a tarp that comes out from over the trailer, over the white sand, maybe connects to that tree, that could be pretty cool. Haven't been able to do something like that before. Not sure I'm going to bother with the awning this time. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and I think we could have the camp down here. Maybe maybe the fire by the water. I reckon that would be a good little spot. This is actually part I love about camping the most, the setup. 
I was super tired before, feeling full of energy, even if I'm a little bit physically tired. But I reckon this has been totally worth it. Don't you reckon, kids? Yeah. What have you got there, Sonny? You can throw that in. Wait, is that a poo? Hmm, let's hope not. You can, yep, you can throw it in the river. Oh, close one. Close. Hey, well done. Before I get fully stuck into the setup, I thought I'd show you a few new things. Uh, so, firstly, we've got a new mower tray that's been put onto the trailer, which usually has a lawnmower on it. That's been good to tie down the large pieces of wood and keep them or the bark and the dirt away from the trailer. So that's cool. This is also very cool. Yeah, that all the gear, cooking gear, just flows out, builds into it. Got a pump built into the jerry can, and I've plumbed in a second jerry can to get 40 litres instead of 20. And so what happens is when we turn on the switch, <laughs> we've got... Hang on, hang on. Oh! Don't waste our drinking water. No, stop, stop. Alright, <laughs> Sonny's gonna have a shot. Good work, Sonny. So now that alright, let's just turn that off because we have limited drinking water out here. There you go. So now and that's my daddy. Hello. Sonny, say hi. Hi. There's my dad turning up. Do you want me to show him again? And there's my little brother Sunny. He's coming over to say hi. Hi. Bop, 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 bop. He's sitting in. Alright, 7 o'clock. Usually kids' bedtime. Very dark out there. Not much you can see. Vats down. Tents up. Gonna use the, fl uh, the fly this time. It was a little bit cold last time without it. Learned my lesson there. Whew. A lot of work. You, what are you doing with Sunny at the moment, sweetheart? Um, Sunny's in my tent. He's trying to get me, and I'm I'm really good at hiding. Oh, you're the you're hiding in the dark, are you? Yeah, and he can't, people can't see people in the dark. How you doing down there, Sunny boy? Hiding. You're hiding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not sure if you can see that. Oh, That's one of those God. soldier ants with the massive pincers. <laughs> good little <laughs> example. Dangerous things out here. Time to get the flask right. Why can I not touch it? Because it's a soldier ant. Sunny, don't touch the What's wall. A soldier ant. It means it's yes. got really big. Ah, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> Good one, Sunny. Don't know where it is now. Wow, this one, this one almost defeated me. Oh. Finally got the fly up. That was a mission. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but well, first it was inside out, and then I had it the wrong way around. Yeah, last time Amy did that part, and <laughs> yeah, that was hard. Not sure if it's because I didn't do the fly last time, or but I mean we have done it before. Um, don't know if it was because it was dark, or because I'm here with the two kids by myself. But yeah. That was, I reckon that took me about an hour to get that fly on. What's the time? 7.24, so it would have taken 24 minutes. Yeah, that felt like a long time. Still getting set up. Look, out now, out. No, we're staying inside to go to sleep now. Oh, man. All right, moment of truth. I've got my Ryobi battery with a Ryobi inverter, already had that for work. And then I've gone and got myself a little present, which was a DC 12 volt uh, power adapter. And the theory is that this thing, my heated blanket, electric blanket, that I plugged into the car last time, we had to have the car really close to the tent. Whereas this time, obviously the car's ages away. So I'm hoping this adapter plugs it all in and still works, let's find out. Well, it's a bit of a funny setup. It's a few big bulky things, but it is working. So it is actually heating the blanket off my Ryobi batteries. So I'm pretty happy about that. 
See, I'm gonna get five of my Ryobi batteries in here tonight. See how many I go through. Should draw one amp an hour, maybe two amps an hour with the inverter. It's a nine amp battery, so that gets me through the first four and a half hours. So, yeah, we'll see. How you going, kiddo? Enjoying camping? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> joking. I'm joking. What's been your favourite part so far? I think I'm the favourite part tomorrow. You reckon your favourite part's going to be tomorrow, hey? Yes. Fantastic. And I'm hungry already. Hungry already? Yeah, I want some food. Alright, I'll go see what I can find. Yay! Alright, 8.26. Kids are in bed. Got the whole set tent set up on the inside too. Now time for a fire. Another great example of danger in the bush. Just wanted to go sit down and take a moment of relaxation on my chair. Would have got stung in the bum by a bee. What are you doing little man? What are you doing? Oh, it's here to stay. In case you didn't have enough, check out this spider hunting the beetle. There are bugs everywhere, but we're well sheltered, so can't complain. Check out all these campsites around. Oh, yep, there's some over in the distance there. More people over there. A few more people over that way. The point being is we found a very secluded place away from all like the 20 different people. So yeah, pretty happy with how this turned out. Not sure I'm going to have a fire tonight. Kids are cracking it a little bit. So not sure I should put in the effort. Get ring ring and I get get the out the I can't see. Out. Can't see. I can't see. Trunk. Get ring. Trunk. Small like the. I get ring. Then my dear. Then my. That was pretty cute. I think Sunny just said, Hi guys, we're camping. It's been pretty good. It's night time. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Guys, um, the first time when I couldn't see Sunny Boy, um, it was quite dark and you couldn't see us. And tomorrow we might, we might have a lot of fun because um, I think we're going to have some breakfast and then... Enjoy our day. We've got some friends coming to visit us, don't we? Yep, we got Ellie and Ben. Who do you want to see tomorrow? I'm Ben. You want to see Ben? Yeah. And who? Uh, Jess. And Jess? Yeah. And who else? And Mason. You like Mason? You like Mason, do you? No. Oh. <laughs> Alright, good night everyone. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys, and I hope you see our new friends good. We mm. won't forget about you. Bye. <laughs> and Sunny say good night. Sunset. Hey guys, the sun's coming up, and it's a lovely day. So this day, I know that my friends are not here yet, but. My dad asked if I wanted to take a video, and I just said, yeah. You're a beautiful sunset. There we go. Look at sunset. Another horse poo. Two oh. horse poo. So beautiful. Yep. <laughs> Didn't get much sleep last night. Sunny was crying a fair bit, but so was Indy, actually. Probably the worst camping night we've had so far. Yeah, it was not good, and it was also freezing cold. Electric blanket ran all night, so that was good. Um, kind of annoying to have to unplug it in new batteries and stuff throughout the night, but we're awake anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. Yeah. Oh, and it also rained, so that was unexpected because it got all of our stuff wet because I hadn't had time to put up the shelter yet. So that was also annoying. Don't oh, you're in the poo, Sunny. Yeah. Oh. Watch where you're stepping. Okay? Watch where you're stepping, little man.
wonder if he's going to come over and say hello. Say hi, Sunny. That's a cow there. I remember I said the sunset's going and the cow's there. We might need to get back, it's freezing. I bet you guys are cold in there. Maybe we should go light a fire, hey? Yeah. It's too hard, hey? Yeah. I got some. I got some water and some water. Is this for the fire? Yeah. Alright, let's go have a fire on the beach, eh? Hey? Yeah, you can go. Go, Sunny. Whoa. Hey, guys. He's having another ice cream, hey? At the top of the slippery slide. Mm -hmm. Yep. One for our friends to arrive. Man, they should be here in any minute, so... We might want to say hi to... They might want to say hi to you. Hi guys, Bella and Ellie's here today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, flip, yeah, flip it around. <laughs> Captain Sunny. Well, that's the end of another good trip. Kids are tired. I'm tired. Had great friends with our uh, had a great time with our friends Jess and Mason. So, yeah, another great time at Kawella campsite.